Hi Taurus, welcome. Welcome to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. And I'm here with messages for Taurus Sun, Moon Rising and Venus Sign. I hope that you are well Taurus. I hope that you find messages that feel good to you. Taurus, what I'm going to ask you to do now <clears throat> is to really focus on the deck of cards here so that we can get the most accurate messages for your reading. Just really breathe and focus on the deck here. Some messages for Tara. Hmm. <laughs> Money, pentacles, solidity, groundedness, stability, oh, some love, and maybe finding one's true path. Thank you so much for being here, Tara. Really appreciate your presence. Thank you for coming through. Right? Okay. So we have the strength card here. Strength, bravery, courage, magician energy, really. Able to transmute energies. Courage, purity, connection, divinity with oneself, alignment, alchemy. That is a strength card. Like being in full alignment, even in the way you choose to express yourself. Mm. This card could represent an earth sign, fire, water. All right, let us see what is here for Taurus. Uh, going to be the hermit okay hmm. going inside so you could be taking a break um, doing some research on how to find your true strength to be guided to your strength to be led to that place in you that is confident and sure 
there's another word that I'm looking for. All right. It's you being modest in servitude. Maybe wanting forgiveness from someone that you recognize as strong, <laughs> strong-willed. All right, let's get to the next card. The ten of, the King of Pentacles. Okay, <laughs> so this is. An earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this does represent you, Taurus. Ah, oh my gosh. We have the star card. Dreams, divination, balance. energy the king of wands <laughs> what is going on in this reading the king of wands the star card wanting to do what to tame to manage to monitor to be in one's Highest position mentally, physically, emotionally, self control, even to have control over oneself. Maybe you're looking for that sense of balance, giving and receiving. Maybe it's time to, for you to receive. <laughs> what are you looking to receive? Oh, okay. It feels like um, something captivating that you want to be quenched in or relinquished to give into something welcoming maybe your emotions like that deep passion that you have inside of you it is as if you now realize that it is toxic so you're soul searching But you're covered by strength so you can get through this you have the willpower to do it you can do it you can continue on to manifesting as your best self the outcome of your introspection your connection to connecting to your inner self the outcome is amazing king of pentacles energy entrepreneurship intelligence wisdom courage a leader grounded expresses himself well feels good high value high value man king of pentacles so i feel like you know it's it's going to take some courage to really take this time off or go into yourself or leave leave certain situations behind to venture into who you truly are to bring the best out of yourself and I say that you are successful wow oh, oh my gosh the ten of pentacles amazing blessings fortune you know bright beautiful attracting abundance joy wealth prosperity attracting all of that into your life at this time could be because of your discipline in going diving deep into yourself 
I feel like it's more like a sacrifice, like a compromise, like handing over something in order to giving up on something, maybe letting go of addictions or old habits. It's a discipline that you, you willingly gave up or gave into or signed on to so that you can become your better self to attract more the Ten of Pentacles energy. A lot going on for you, bright, beautiful, new beginnings, maybe receiving new avenues of wealth or feeling that new sense of value in yourself. I feel like you're really rethinking your strategies, your old strategies. Because this feels like that which one that was very passionate who has a lot of libido, you know, that kind of wild energy to just use his magic, his charm, his wand, to just for that satisfaction of using it. And so I feel like that person is going into themselves really, I think, and really being strong, nurturing themselves even through this process. So I feel like their souls are being rejuvenated just by really being masterful and in control of this, this sexual energy, this untamed kind of energy that I feel has brought some kind of rot, rot, it feels like that, like a burning has been because of this energy. This person is, could be you, you know, going through a process of purification with the star card here of healing. And it is becoming true. So look forward to all of this glory, all of it happening. You see, right? Next card. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Swords. Healing. At the top, there's a Ten of Cups. So this is three tens in your reading. Yeah, that is Teller, okay? Celebration, family, home life, rejuvenation, um, ownership of property, new beginnings of abundance, feeling gratitude, having a lot to be thankful for, of having your desires being met, have reaping, reaping, you know, harvest time, glory. There's a lot of, it's like this is the time for you to be well, all is well to be happy, to be full, to be glorious. It's the harvest time of your happiness. So behold it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's as if it's time for, it's that time for you to celebrate, to be happy. All year round, you know, just wake up, be, wake up happy, wake up feeling glorious, joyous, prosperous. It's your time. And I don't feel like you should have guilt in this feeling because it's just your time. It's that it's it's that harvest. Happy, happy time harvest. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so the Ten of Swords is representing an ending to bad times. It's as if oh I could say it's as if you lost everything at one point but then you get it back tenfold or double sorry oh my gosh this is the nine of swords what am I reading the nine of the nine of swords hmm being Maybe not at the edge of overcoming these these feelings. 
of transmuting. Remember you have the courage card up here. So right at the brink of stepping out of this, of deciding not to dwell in this feeling anymore. And it's like there's a magician energy that causes you to really alchemize the feeling and turn it brand new into this. And it was your strength, your courage, your bra bravery, your boundaries, self-esteem, your ideas of your self-worth that said, oh my, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to feel these feelings anymore. So you're at the, you're at the end of it. It's the nine. The ten would come next. That would be the end of it. But then we have the ten of cups up here already. So it's like celebration. You have decided to come out of this feeling, transcend, to move on and forward. And you did that by re-evaluating some choices that you've made in your life. Is that you wake up one day and said, what am I doing, <laughs> you know? What am I really doing? I learned from my mistakes, I'm ready to, this is the life I'm ready to move into as if you were living sort of a bachelorette lifestyle and then you got some memory or of how your parents were married or something you, you met someone that caused you to want happiness with them true happiness instead of feeling alone you know not having that true connection with someone you said I don't want it anymore to be alone, to just be dreaming, I need this new beginning. And so you went into yourself to really uncover your true strength and sense of value. What you have to bring to this life, to earth, to give more of. Not just selfishly, but to be able to have offsprings and give more of yourself. Directly or indirectly to other people as well. Hmm. So you did meet up, you met up with some people that taught you values, showed you boundedness, a brotherhood, a camaraderie, someone that led by example. So it's like maybe they are who you, like maybe um, surrender to. You let you laid it yourself down to say I'm willing to go through this process to become a better me and to overcome certain feelings of sadness. So you were mentored through this process. You weren't alone. So the graduation of you is you becoming in full control of yourself. In knowing your worth, new sense of worth, where your life is headed, where you can take yourself, new dreams, new aspirations. You're seeing beautiful manifestations align in your life. Maybe from the inside out too. Things that, meetings with people like, um, people that have inspired you. Maybe you're running into some, some people, certain ideas. Okay, Taurus. Yes, there's a beautiful outcome all around for you. Joy, happiness, prosperity. Any other messages for Taurus at this time? Okay. So this is the this is the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Feeling great, feeling good about yourself. So it's another Pentacle card. 
the night so is that you rode in or went off to to find yourself your true self and then you came back with it as a reward <laughs> thank you Taurus for listening to my reading I hope you find it helpful on your journey and until next time take care much love bye